Hi, everybody. Um, so I work at Halo. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know that, uh, we're like a taxi app. You can get taxis or licensed cars through our app. Uh, and we're live uh, in a number of cities across the world. Um, so that means we run our infrastructure on three continents, which causes a, a number of issues. Um, so we recently uh, moved to a new infrastructure. Uh, everything's written in Go microservices. Uh, we run this in each data center and then sync data between those. Uh, and one of the problems you have with distributed systems is um, tracking requests as they go through all of these uh, different services, which sometimes is quite complicated to debug. So if we've got a request, something like this, that's going through three different services, um, we want to be able to trace the request and the response all the way through. So we can do that quite easily by um, firing Go routines on request response uh, and when they come in and out on our handlers. Uh, so we used to do this. We'd um, have our thing that actually do the request. We'd fire a uh, Go routine before and after, run concurrently, uh, all good. Uh, and on the other side, when we got a request in, we'd also instrument the handler, so we'd run, again, similar kind of thing. Uh, and here we're just firing some kind of JSON description of, of what the request is. So this, this kind of gives us something like this. We've, we've got our three uh, different services. We've got our request going in and out, and we're firing a, uh, a message each time with a description of kind of what's happened on that request, timing information, that kind of stuff. Um, and we use uh, NSQ, a distributed queue, um, also written and go. Uh, and then we kind of fire all of these things into that and process them later. Um, so this worked quite well. Um, the problem we have is uh, we run on Amazon. So um, uh, we have quite a lot of network partitions, uh, lots of latency, that kind of thing. And it's all quite unpredictable. And if we're blocking on certain things, so we're, we're waiting to pass our message into our queue, um, then our Go routines can kind of back up. Uh, and we're using potentially quite a lot of memory. Uh, and we had this happen in some of our very, very high volume systems. Um, so an alternative approach would be to um, have our trace library in each one, push a uh, message into a channel, and then have just a worker Go routine that would pick these up and fire them on. Uh, and quite a nice pattern that we use here is um, having a select case where we're firing a message in, and then we have a default case which just skips it. So we have a buffered channel of like 200 messages, something like that. Uh, and if uh, that channel is full, then we just skip it and we don't fire a message. Uh, and in this case, we prefer to have a working system over a, a well-instrumented system. Um, so then we fire them over UDP on localhost just to another kind of client binary that runs there. Uh, and then we pick those up again on the other end with a, a similar kind of thing where we are selecting a number of requests and we either, after a period of time, fire on a, a timeout, uh, or if we fill up our buffer, then we, we fire them all on. So we can pass them a bit more efficiently, pass like a buffer of, uh, say, 200 messages. Um, so the end result is something like this, um, which kind of describes an entire request. Uh, this is actually showing you cabs on our app. Um, and we can stick all that together into a web sequence diagram. So we can very easily see like how these requests have flowed all the way through. Uh, and then from that, we can also aggregate these uh, using the Go Metrics library. Uh, so we get like one minute, five minute, and 15 minute rates. Uh, and in 2013, we had something like this um, with a bit of D3 wizardry. Um, and that's kind of changed to something like this now. Um, and then you can like highlight on particular ones to see exactly what's going on. And in this case, one of those services uh, isn't working particularly well, um, but we're still serving requests through that. And that's it. Thanks very much.